Hello everyone and welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Today we're going to be looking at what can be considered the next big leap in the world of devices. Humane's AI pin. The San Francisco based tech startup Humane has built what it calls the next leap in computing devices. The company is opening up about its high tech device designed to be fastened to a shirt or blouse, a fit that Humane hopes can become as accepted among people as sporting wireless earbuds or smartwatches. Humane's device, called the AI pen, can take photos and send texts, uses a laser to project a visual interface onto a person's palm, and comes with a virtual assistant that can be as sharp as ChatGPT. By always being ready to search the web and communicate, it is supposed to reduce dependency on smartphones. The AI pin goes on sale on November the 16th in the US, starting at 699 US dollars, plus a $24 monthly subscription for unlimited calling, texting, and data through T-Mobile's wireless network. Humane revealed the device's look and basic functions at the TED conference and in a Paris Fashion Week runway show earlier this year. The PIN is one of the first of many wearable devices expected to launch in coming months and years that are built around the kind of chat GPT-like AI services. Famed Apple designer Johnny Ive is reportedly among the competition. The startup has raised $230 million in funding, including $100 million announced in March, reportedly valuing it at $850 million US dollars. Humane's investors include OpenAI CEO Sam Altman, who holds the largest outside stake at nearly 15%, Salesforce CEO Mark Benjoff, Microsoft, and the venture arms of LG, Volvo, and Qualcomm. Humane CEO Bethany Bongiorno is confident of the PIN's mass appeal, calling it the world's first contextual computer. AI now has become something that everyone is curious about and really wants to know how it's going to change their life, she says. We're offering the first opportunity to bring it with you everywhere. It's really touching people from every background, every age group, globally, in terms of what we're feeling and seeing in feedback. Bongiorno and her husband, Imran Chaudhry, founded Humane in 2018 after years of working on hardware design and software engineering at Apple. They set strict parameters for their product. It needed to be a standalone device connected directly to the cell network, transparent about when it is recording, and not always listening for wake words such as, hey Siri, or OK Google. And the whole package should be affordable. Humane's founders view previous wearable devices like smart glasses and AR headsets as barriers to human connection. The pin is intended to be less invasive, though just as capable, and something people can comfortably wear all day. We want to have powerful compute with us at all times, and that's really what it's about, says Chaudhry the company's president and chairman. We want access to more knowledge, more information. We just want it in a way that allows us to remain present. After ordering a PIN, buyers log in to a website, humane.center, to sync their contacts and sign up for extra services, like music. They use the PIN's camera to scan a code shipped with the device to associate it to that online account. 
where recordings, photos and histories of calls and messages are accessible. Users' data won't be used to train AI systems, Humane says. With its housing carved from a single chunk of aluminum, Humane's device is closer to a brooch than a pin. Chaudhry says the name pin is meant more as a metaphor to evoke the sentiment of attaching it to your clothing than as a physical descriptor. To put on the AI pin involves placing a magnetic battery pack on the inside of a shirt or other piece of clothing and letting a magnet on the pin itself hold the system in place. It's altogether about 55 grams or 2 ounces in weight. A clip sold separately makes it possible to attach the pin to thicker clothing or bag straps and a lighter weight magnet included with the device works for silky outfits or workout gear. The pin comes in three colors, Eclipse that is all black, Luna which is all white and Equinox black with silver edges. Colourful plastic cases, dubbed shields, sold separately, can add more flair to the edge of the pin. Bongiorno says they allow the devices to be more durable when dropped, which may be a big fear for potential buyers. The AI pin's most distinctive features reside in the curved top of the device, which houses an ultra-wide camera, light and depth de detectors and a laser projector. Humane realized when testing that without that curve, a camera resting on people's chests would mostly be pointing to the sky. Everyone's built differently and the optics need to actually be angled downward to account for the different shapes, Chaudhary said. Humane's AI pin has a light that indicates to people nearby when the microphone or camera is activated. Chaudhary says this trust light is designed such that if it was ever tampered with, the device would become inoperable, so it can't be used for spying. The pin is controlled by taps, hand gestures and voice commands. A double tap with two Where fingers can I on the find a gift for my wife before I have to leave tomorrow? Snaps photos. The same double tap and then holding that spot records video. But video capability won't launch until a software update in early 2024. Tapping the AI pin and then moving a palm into its field of view activates its laser which projects images and text onto a user's hand at a wavelength that produces a bluish-green tinge, a 720-pixel resolution system Humane calls a laser ink display. Tilting the hand navigates between displayed options and a swatting gesture swipes to a different menu. Users click on an option by tapping their thumb and index finger together and close their hand briefly to return to a home screen. Controlling the projection is limited to one hand to keep it quick and to prevent the other hand from getting in the way of the projector. The voice assistant, which Humane names AI Mike, draws on multiple large language models including from ChatGPT developer OpenAI. Users tap and hold the pin to talk to AI Mike and can ask similar questions to those handled by generative AI chatbots or voice assistants like Alexa and Siri, such as queries about current or historical events, requests for help with language translations, and to order up poems. The musical experience, powered by the streaming service Tidal, which requires paid subscription. Humane expects to add navigation and shopping capabilities over time and also to open up the device to developers to build apps.
Bongiorno says. The AI pin runs on Google's open source Android operating system, so it should be relatively easy for developers to work with, though Humane has added a number of customizations to the OS, which is called Cosmos. The pin has built-in speakers through which the AI mic responds via voice, which can also be used for music. While the pin supports Bluetooth headphones, its built-in speakers are designed to create a bubble of sound around the user that provides an intimate experience when turned down low. Photos taken with the AI pin's 13 megapixel camera and automatically enhanced by its algorithms can be previewed using the palm top laser ink display. Images appear grainy and the palm makes for a bumpy and creased screen. But the feature provides a way to check whether a photo shot from the chest captured the correct subject. Users can't get AI Mike to post the snaps to Instagram for now, though Humane hopes to partner with the social media service at some point. From early next year, the AI Pin's camera will power an AI calorie counting feature. The AI, AI pin, pin could track, track the amount of protein, protein someone, someone consumed throughout the day by capturing the food item. The, the AI, AI pin, pin comes with a phone, phone number, number and, and also supports support international, international roaming, roaming, GPS, GPS Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi and, and Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Depending, Depending on how people how end up using the device, device Humane, Humane could charge additional, additional fees, fees for capacity. capacity. Some services, such as unlimited web searches through AI Mike and unlimited media storage on Microsoft's cloud, are free.